All right, so you've got your app, and there are some pages everyone can see, but there are other pages that people can only see if they're logged in. It might be something with their settings, or it might be content that you have locked behind a wall. Whatever it is, if they're already logged in and you link them to it, that's great. It's working as you want. But what if they're not logged in and you link them to it? So in this case, it sent us to the login page. But then after we log in, it takes us to the home page and not to where we actually want to go. So in this video, we're going to be building a system for keeping track of what page they originally went to and then redirecting them to that after they've logged in. This video is completely free and will solve the issue at hand. I will make a follow-up video, which will be a pro video at viewscreencast.com, where we improve the solution and integrate it better with the rest of the site. For those watching right as this video is released, the follow-up will be on Thursday, so in two days, and it's going to be free for the first week. So if you want to get notified of that, go ahead and register for the site and I'll send you an email notification. Our solution today will have three parts to it. The first part is taking this URL and then putting it in the query params. The next part will be notifying them that they need to log in or register to access that specific route. And third, once they register or log in, then it should take them back to the page that they were trying to get to in the first place. How we do the initial redirect to the login page is through the AuthGuard middleware. And here it is. So if the user is not logged in, then we do a snack bar, and then we redirect them to the login page. We'll want to add on a query param here, and we'll call it redirect. And here we'll want to put the URL of the place we're wanting to go. And we're going to need to get that from the route. Let's go ahead and put a log statement here and see what's available on the route. So on the route, we have the name and we have some meta stuff, which doesn't seem that useful. And then we have the path and that appears to be what we want. So back in our redirect, we will use route.path. Now let's go ahead and see if that works correctly. So we'll reload this and there we go. We have redirect equals slash account slash email preferences. Part one of three is complete. Next we'll add the little bar up here that tells them they must either log in or register in order to access that page. So we'll go to our login page here and we'll add a V sheet up here. And for the V sheet, we'll have it green and we'll lighten it up a bit. And we'll put in some text here. You must be logged in to access this page. And we'll give the actual URL in a little bit once we access that from the query params. We'll go ahead and add the text center class and then that looks pretty good. Now we'll be replacing this page with account slash email preferences. So we'll be getting route and then query on the route. And then we called the query redirect. 
So let's see if that works. All right, good. That's showing up correctly. And then we will want to make it not display if there's no redirect. Because this looks a little bit silly. So we'll just have a VF right here. Now we'll see that if there's no redirect, nothing shows. But if there is a redirect, then it'll show this V sheet. So that's exactly what we are wanting. So we've got two of our three objectives done. Our third objective is when they log in, it'll redirect them to the page they're wanting to go in the first place. To solve this one, we'll need to go down to our login user method and we'll see that, all right, so first we do the actual login, then we call set snack bar with a thanks for signing in, and then we redirect the user back to the home page. This is the part that we're going to be changing. So we'll have a redirect URL, and it's going to come from the route.query.redirect, or as a default, it'll just have that. And then we'll feed it in right there. So now let's give it a try. So we will log in. And now it sends us right back to the page that we were trying to get to in the first place. So let's review our solution in its entirety. In the off guard middleware, we change our initial redirect from just login to having a query param. And we get that query param from the path of the route, which comes in through this context object. Then in our login page, we create a V sheet, which only displays if we have that query param. And then it says you must be logged in to access then the name of that query param. Finally, we have a redirect URL, which comes either from that redirect query param or it's just the default homepage. And then we redirect to that page. By the way, credit to Roman for part of this video solution. Thank you, Roman. So we have our solution and it's pretty elegant. We just added, let's see, five. Well, we added four lines and changed three and that solves our problem. And in fact, if we didn't insist on this cool V sheet, it would be adding one line and changing three. However, this solution does have some drawbacks. One of the big ones is we hit register here and we have now lost our query param. Another issue is that the login and register components repeat a lot of the code that is in the user auth toggleable form component. And so in the next video, the follow-up video for pro users, we're going to be refactoring this to solve both of those issues. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Thanks to everyone who's a member of viewscreencast.com, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum plans, where you'll have access to our complete and up-to-date course catalog, as well as coaching, mentoring, and consulting. Visit us at viewscreencast.com.